Google Sheets has a few ways that we can randomize a list of names and then use that in a particular setting. The first way is to use the Google Sheets feature that randomizes the list, which is good for a one-time use. The second way, we're going to build our own system so that we can then use that to implement a seeding plan. So let's jump in and see what we've got. Here we have a random list of names that I've just popped into this spreadsheet. If we select all of the names, I'm just going to scroll back up and go data randomize range. We can see that that switches out the range really, really quickly and easily. But that's only good for a single use. So instead, we're going to create our own formulas, which we can then use in a practical setting. So in column B here, we're going to input a random number. All this is is equals rand. Hit enter. And then it's saying, do you want to autofill? I'm going to press control enter. And that's going to autofill all of these numbers all the way down to the bottom of the list. I'm going to highlight the uh, top here or bold it. And then in C1 here, we're going to put the rank. This is going to rank the randomized numbers so that we know who's on top and who's on bottom. So we start with the rank function. The value is this number here. Push a comma and then select all of the data. I'm just going to select the first few and then press backspace, which is going to select the whole column. Press F4 and then enter. That's our rank. If we want to autofill that, we hold control and press enter and it ranks everybody from first to last. And if we select an empty cell, we can hit the delete button and we can see that the numbers change. Over on the right hand side here, we're going to create our list of randomized numbers. Now this part isn't really necessary, but I'm just going to do it so that we can see what's really happening with the names. So I'm going to start off with the number. We'll put in equals sequence and the number of students we have. In this case, we have 30. And then we're going to put our name. For the name, you can use whatever lookup function you like. My favorite is VLOOKUP still, even though we have XLOOKUP, I still prefer VLOOKUP because it works really well with arrays. The search key will be this number here. The search range, we're going to get a little bit advanced and use what's called an array literal. So we'll start with a curly bracket, select these numbers here, just the first few and then press backspace and then F4 to lock that in place. Put a comma, and then the list of names. Again, just selecting the first few, backspace to select the whole list, and F4 to lock that in place, closing with a curly bracket. That's our range. Even though the search key is currently highlighted, we're currently on the range section. After this, we'll put a comma, and then the index is two. So this is asking which column do we want? Do we want column one or column two? We want column two. And then we end with a zero and a regular bracket. Press enter and we get the name Bran because if we look in this in this section here, we can see that Bran is number one. Number two, if we copy this down, we can see, oh, Bran is now number two. That was a weird um, coincidence. And Shane is number one. We're going to copy this all the way down by double clicking the handle in the corner. And we can see that the list now randomizes. And every time we press delete in a empty cell, this is going to re-randomize. I'm just going to highlight these top ones so that it looks a little bit prettier and then center them. So now that we have our list of randomized names, we're going to place these in a seeding plan on another sheet. So we're going to open up another tab and within this tab, you're going to design what your classroom looks like. I'm going to very quickly do mine and then you'll see what my layout looks like. So this is what my classroom layout looks like, or at least used to look like. I have changed it since then, but this is what it used to look like. We have all 30 desks here that are numbered from one to 30. At this stage, it doesn't matter where you put the numbers, but do put it in an organized way so that you can change it later. And I'll show you a trick at the end about how we can manipulate the numbers within these cells so that we can really up our classroom management game. So now that we have our layout, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this to a blank section within the same tab because we're going to need to change these numbers into names. So let's go ahead and copy everything with control C and then further down here, control V to paste it in. 
we'll delete all of the numbers within the um, within the layout. And here we're going to use some VLOOKUPs to find these numbers within the randomized list that we came up with earlier. So we start with equals VLOOKUP. The number that we're searching for, or the key that we're searching for, is this number up here, the number one. We'll press a comma, and then the range will be our randomized list from sheet one. So that's this section here. Select the whole column and press F4 to lock that in place. Then we want the second column. So we'll put a two and then a column and then a zero because we want an exact match. We press enter on that and we can see down here that Gil is now number one. And if we look back on our, on our randomized list, we can see Gil is in the first position. If we randomize this, J is now on top. And if we look here, J is now in our first seat. From here, we're going to do the same formula through all of these desks. So let's control C and then instead of control V, which will mess up our, our formatting, we're going to go control C to copy, then click on that cell. We'll go edit, paste special, formula only. Now that we've done these two together, I'm going to highlight both of them, control C to copy and paste them into a section that has the same formatting. If we try to paste it here, it's not going to work out because the formatting is different here. Each of these is takes up one cell, but these desks take up three cells. So instead, just like before, control C to copy, and then over here, edit, paste special, form formula only. We can now copy and paste this over to here and then over to here. If we try to copy this down, we'll end up with our formatting changing. So let's control Z to undo that. We'll control C to copy and then down here, edit, paste special. Formula only to paste that in place and then copy and paste those into our other desks. Let's copy each of these and put them into here. And now we have students in places within the classroom. Now in my class, the way I use this is this is shown on the whiteboard and as the students walk in, I'm holding the refresh button. Now the refresh button on your keyboard is just the delete button in an empty cell. And as they walk in, they see that this is happening. Now the first time this happens, they get a little bit weirded out. They don't really know what's going on, but I wait for enough students, maybe almost the whole class to come in and I tell them what's going on. I tell them something along the lines of you guys have not been appropriate in the class. So now you don't get to choose where you sit. Instead, we're going to let the computer decide. So I'm randomizing it and I don't take away their power completely. I tell them you guys now have the power to tell me when to stop and whatever we land on, you're going to sit in that position. So they're watching it and then they tell me stop and I hands off and this is where they're sitting today. And while there might be some complaints about who they're sitting with, there's never any arguments. They had the power to select this, so this is what they're going with. And as they come in, they actually get even more power because the first few students come in and usually they say, oh, can I randomize it today? I say, yep, go ahead. All you need to do is hold this button. And then when you're ready, you can stop. So they're randomizing it. They're getting students across a class saying, stop, stop, stop. But whoever has their finger on the button has the power. When they're ready, hands off, and this is what we're going with. No arguments, the complaints are now settling down, and the students get themselves into their seats. Now this is a fantastic classroom management tool, but we can make it even better. But before we do, I want you to head down to the comments and leave a tip about how you've improved your classroom management over the years. On the way back up, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps the channel out. Now let's say that you've got some students that you need to keep apart from each other for whatever reason. Well, with a couple of tweaks to this spreadsheet, we can make that happen. So let's go back to sheet one and right down the bottom of our list, we're just going to change the uh, numbers here, the random numbers for the students that you want to keep apart. Let's just choose these bottom four students and we'll enter the cell by pressing enter. And then after the rand, we'll do plus one. We'll copy that down to however many students you need to keep apart. And you can see that these are now uh, numbers one, three, four, and two. If we uh, re-randomize this, these students will always be numbers one, two, three, and four. And if we go back up here to our numbers, you can see the numbers one, two, three, and four are all bunched together. So we're going to move these students around or move these numbers around so that we know exactly where the four students will be. So let's put number one here 
And when you change this, make sure you change where number one is. So we've switched numbers one and nine around. Number two we'll put down here, so that's in position 24, and we'll change this to position 24. Number three we'll put, uh, let's say, here at number 16. So we'll change the 16 to a three and the three to a 16. And number four we'll put right in front of the teacher's desk, which was number 20. So now as we go down, if we look here, the names were Kono, Tyrion, Claire, and Tyra. And if we look in these four positions, those four positions will always be these four names. However, the students will think that they're being randomized within all of the other students. So if we randomize that by holding delete in an empty square, we can see everyone's being randomized and Kono, Tyra, Claire, and Tyrion are all in those four positions. And that will always be the case. They will always be right there, away from each other, but still thinking that they're being randomized within the entire group. And if you're one of my students watching and wondering, have I done this in class? I absolutely have. And to go that extra step more, you can get one of these students who might be your trouble students, get them to come in and randomize the list. So now you're giving them the power and they're going to be more likely to come onto your side. Hands off, and this is where they're sitting. Now, if you want this spreadsheet, I've left a copy down in the description and pinned comment. All you need to do is change the names and the layout of the classrooms. I've left some classroom templates in there so that you can maybe try out that layout within your classroom, or you can easily change the layout of the spreadsheet however you need to for your classroom. Now, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please leave a like and I'll see you next time.